Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and I've got an unboxing that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do a review of what I've unboxed. <laughs> so, I got, I saw an infomercial, and I'm a, oh, I'm a sucker for infomercials, but anyway, I've been watching this at Walmart, and I wanted to get it at Walmart, and then I saw the, the infomercial, and I went on and got got it through the infomercial because you get more stuff than you do at Walmart. It's it is twenty dollars more when you do the infomercial, but you also can split it up into three payments of thirty nine, whatever it is. So I went on and got this, and now we're going to unbox it and wash it, and I'm gonna fix some hamburgers on it and see how they are and. Let me go on and, where's my, okay, here they are. I had to get the scissors to get this open. I don't know how to, okay, there it is. All right, so I'm going to go through right here. There you go. All right, so let's get this thing out. And you might know it's upside down, but I can't turn it over, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see if I can push it the table more. All right, I'm going to have to get Regina to help me with this. So when I get it out, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Boy, that was rough. <laughs> Getting this out. All right, here's the lid to it. Oh, it's got to put the... You got to screw the little things on here, I reckon. The top to it. The handle. All right, so then you have the... This came with the a griddle pan, too. All right, so you got that. And then we're going to... Golly! They have... Okay. Here's the grill pan. Then, let's see. Okay, you take that off. Here's the thing for that. Oh, and down in here, I guess this is the pan that where the drippings go. I, I don't know. I've got a, a said you can, like, if you fix fish or salmon or something like that, you can put water and lemon and stuff. No, I don't. Well, I don't know how in the world you're going to do that. I guess we'll use a more down in here. Yep. All right, so here's the handle. You got to do that. Here's the, um, the cord. Here's the little tray that goes down in here. Okay, and there's that, and then you put this down in there, I guess, and then, I don't know, I'm going to have to read the instructions to do this, and then somehow, the, oh, I guess the other thing goes in first. Anyway, here it is, let me get it all cleaned up and put together, and I don't even see the instructions. Did y'all see them? <sighs> All right, I need to find everything, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, 
I've got it all washed, all put together, and I've got five hamburgers. Well, maybe not. What did I hit? Okay. Fan. And how do you... All right, so I guess that's it. All right, so I press the power button and then the fan button. All right, wait a minute. All right, the fan's on now. Set the temperature to a medium. Oh, I got it too high now. All right, now it's on. All right, I'm not, this is blinking. I need to read the directions more and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. All right, it's got the instructions for using the control panel. So I'm doing it right. And you've got all the, you've got the owner's manual. You've got quick start. You've got um, your warranty. You get <clears throat> two cooking recipe books from Eric the this whatever his name is like this is for the grill part which is what I'm using today um, and this is for the griddle part so you get two recipe books with stuff in here that you can fix all right and we got the hand, the lid t together and the handle on it um, all right so it says do this for I've got it on like Three, almost 350, probably 325 or whatever. And it's pretty hot. And you hear the fan going. So, it says to let it run for about six minutes. So, I'll bring y'all back when I get ready to put the um, hamburger steaks on, on here. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, it's been, this has been heating up long enough. Um, it's it went off and I turned it right straight back up. Oh, I want to show you all my fingernails. <laughs> it's green for St. Patrick's Day. Green, green glitter. <laughs> Can't talk, but you can see there. <gasps> okay, that's enough of that. All right, <laughs> so we're going to put the hamburgers on here. Oh, listen. got five hamburgers that I'm fixing. Looks like you could get six on here. I'm only fixing five. You see them like stars real thin. It doesn't matter to me, so. Alright, so there's, I don't see any smoke or, or anything like that. I'm going to go in and put the lid on and just let these cook. Oh, I came. Oh, i got to put salt and pepper on here. I forgot. Yeah, got to have salt and pepper on your hamburgers. My salt doesn't come out very fast. I need to get Josh to drill some holes in here. And my, I tried to do it <laughs> with my pepper because my pepper is bigger. Wow, it smells good. We're going to see. Oh, no, I forgot to put the water in here. All right, my phone's ringing. I'm going to have to bring you back. Okay, y'all. Oh, my gosh. This is a trip. If you forget the water, 
you better hope there's somebody there that can help you like Regina helped me <laughs> because you have to take each section out because the drip tray I mean the tray the water tray is the very last thing so you got to take this out then this power thing out and then you got to take the silver thing out and then the water so if you get this do not forget to put your two cups of water in the tray in the bottom all right so <laughs> now hopefully it's going to be cooking right but you do need to have that water in there or whatever so i'm gonna put the lid on it we had to use the lid <clears throat> To hold up the stuff because there was grease all over here. <sighs> Alright, y'all. I will bring you back. Okay, y'all. I turned them over before they needed to be turned over. But you can see. Let me zoom in. You can see the griddle marks. I mean, the marks on them or whatever. And so... If I had waited a little bit longer, like I was supposed to, it would have been a whole lot better. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put the lid back on. It does say to, to preserve the the um, taste and all of the food to cook it with the lid on. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and we're going to cook this until it gets done and I will bring you back. Okay, I just wanted to bring you back. I just turned them over again, and <clears throat> they're done on this side. They're not, if you can see there, it's not done in the middle yet. So, but I wanted to remind y'all, when you fix, when you fix hamburgers, never press down on your hamburgers while they're cooking. That takes all of the grease out and makes them so dry. And it just, it's just not recommended. You don't do that on hamburgers. You don't do it on steaks, anything like that. Because when you take your spatula and press down on these, it just, it takes all of that, that flavor and all of that out of it and makes them really, really dry. And they don't have as good a taste as if you just let them sit there on their own and cook. All right, so I'm going to put the lid back on there and cook these the rest of the way, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I'm kind of disappointed with this because I don't know if I could turn it around, but it looks like that I haven't cut it open yet. Maybe I should do that and see. Well, it is cooked all the way through. It just looks a little... And this one, I don't know if you can see or not, but it looks red right there. But let me see. Yeah, it's cooked all the way through. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it, they're done, so I guess I shouldn't be... Well, this one does have a little pink. My daughter would not eat these because she has to have her... Meet her steaks, everything well done. I've tried to tell her. But I was like that for years and years and years. I thought my meat had to be done until I got, um, I started watching programs on TV on the cooking channel and stuff and saw where they didn't, um, their steaks were medium or medium rare or something like that and had the pink in it. And I tried mine and they were so good like that. So anyway, I'm going to fix us our hamburgers, and I'm sure some of you are going to be disappointed, but when I eat a hamburger, I eat the bun, and I'm sorry I, I do, I mean, you know, I'm sorry that y'all may think that it's wrong, and I, it is wrong if you're doing strict keto, but I'm, I just can't do it, I don't eat bread, I don't eat sandwiches or anything like that, but if I eat a hamburger, I'm going to eat my bun. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you like this video on the review of the Power Smokeless Grill, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.